Family, friends, and fellow firefighters from near and far are ready to honor a hero with a very special ceremony. And good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Dardis. Cherie is off tonight. Firefighter brothers are here from all across America and beyond to say goodbye to Daryl Gordon. WLWT News 5's Jackie Congedo spoke with people tonight who made the trip to make sure Gordon will never be forgotten. Jackie. Mike, firefighters from as far away as Manchester, England, will come here to St. Peter and Chains Cathedral for tomorrow's funeral service. Many of them know how important the sacrifice is and the support is from personal experience. We feel that we need to pay it back, we need to pay it forward. Terry Riley and three of his fellow firefighters just got in from Chicago. They didn't know Daryl Gordon, but they do know what this loss feels like. Unfortunately, all four of us have lost a couple of friends, a couple of very close friends in the line of duty, and um, at a young age, too. And the one thing that resonated with us was how many people we saw in our time of need. The Fire Service Brotherhood, thousands of members deep, has come together to surround those grieving the loss of a 29 year Cincinnati Fire Department veteran. Daryl Gordon died searching for people inside this burning apartment building in Madisonville on Thursday when he fell down an elevator shaft. Daryl was a hero, not just in the way he died, but in the way that he lived. People were in there celebrating a city hero right now. For Colerain Township firefighter Ronald Stanger, the service brings back painful memories. His department lost two firefighters seven years ago this Saturday. It's in our back of our minds. But we still got a job to do. We got people to serve and community to protect. A community that came out strong today. Just thought it's the least I could do to say thank you. In recognition of a life dedicated to service. It gets emotional for me to think about what these gentlemen and women do for our community. And uh, I just feel that uh, it's proper to uh, give honor and respect to this gentleman who, who's uh, paid the optimist sacrifice. Of course, many of the people who attended today's visitation, including that gentleman you just heard from, are going to lie in the funeral procession route tomorrow. Others will attend the funeral service here at St. Peter and Chains. That begins tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. Reporting live downtown tonight, Jackie Congedo, WLWT News 5.